as we make our way back there, I uh, have kind of started moving some already. I, uh, my original plan was to cut uh, four or five foot pieces, drag them out with the tractor, and then pick them up with the pallet forks. I was able to do that with the very button piece because I didn't have to drag it. I was able to just immediately get under it with the forks. But um, it, it's proven to be pretty difficult to do that. So what I'm doing is just cutting them into 16 inch pieces, rolling them out of the woods, and then I can pick them up and move them and stack them with the tractor from here. Um, it's definitely not as ideal as I would have hoped for, but um, it's not bad. Um, shouldn't take too long, honestly. So I, uh, I pushed the stump in there. I'll probably try and get rid of this for my neighbor just so it's not on his property, but um, that's so rotted it's not worth anything. This is where the stump fell. And then I uh, have already taken a pretty decent amount out, as you saw. So basically what I'm doing is, um, I think I've talked to you guys about this in the past, but I have a Mingo marker. It shoots little dots um, on the log so you know where to cut every 16 inches. That makes it pretty easy. Um, I was using my 271. It was doing a great job. Um, I was just cutting through. And then uh, when I realized that I was going to have to cut all these up, um, which I wasn't planning on doing today, I decided to go grab the 500i. It uh, just does a phenomenal job. It's uh, insanely fast, and uh, I love that song. So uh, I will get you guys set up. Uh, actually, I'll probably roll this last one out, get you set up, and I'll just keep on fucking here. So real quick before I continue, you can see there's some spots that are definitely damaged. Um, on the top of the log, these these look awful right here anyways. But um, all this should still be good, and I, I am pretty sure this is oak, so this should be great firewood still. Uh, I'll just throw out those punky pieces when I split it. But, um, you know, I mean, I don't have to go into the woods and haul this anywhere, so having it right here at my house already, I'd say throwing out a little bit is definitely worth it. Uh, same here on this one, you can kind of see there's this wet, spongy spot here, but this is all hard. Good. So. Um, next what I'll do, I'm going to leave the top, it's super rotted, um, the base was too, 
so really the the trunk this has been standing dead for several years and a, a good storm actually blew it over the roots failed so the trunk is still good but the rest of it is uh not really worth anything so next one i'm going to do is start rolling some of these out and then you'll uh see me switch to the tractor and i'll move some of them and stack them up over my wood chair The last thing I'm going to try and do is uh, move the stump from where it's sitting to where the tree actually fell right at that um, the wood edge there. And then I want to bring my bucket over. This is actually my neighbor's property. His house is over there. I want to smooth this out for him. Um, since I'm moving the stump out of the way, it was laying right there still. So I'm going to try and scoot that up into the woods and then just smooth this out so... If he ever comes through here with a mower, it doesn't beat him up.
I said, uh, my neighbor didn't ask me to do this. I uh, just decided to take the wood because he doesn't want it. And uh, be nice and help the guy out, make his lawn a little smoother here. It had a pretty deep, nice to divot. So, uh, but the tree was laying right through there. I just pushed the, uh, right in through here. I just pushed the uh, stump piece back in there. He wasn't going to even bother with cutting this up or anything. So, I'm sure... He'll be a little happier. It's out of his yard now. That should do it for this one. I'm sure uh, I'll find something else for us to do around here soon. But thanks for watching.